Hey beautiful, it's Darby and welcome to my channel. Today I have a super exciting video for you guys and it's my night routine. So I have a very set in stone night routine and if I miss a couple of these steps, I wake up feeling exhausted, unrested, a little bit anxious. So I definitely follow these steps every single night. You can ask my boyfriend, he gets super annoyed with me every single night when I do this hour routine, but I think it's totally necessary just to spend time with yourself, for yourself, and just to take care of yourself. So so if you feel like you're not getting a good night's sleep, if you feel like you're not taking enough time for yourself, then you should definitely follow these steps that I do before bed. And just quickly, if you like this video, make sure to give it a like at the end. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel and you can be a part of my journey on YouTube. And without further ado, let's get into it. So I usually start off my night with either teaching a ballet class or a personal training class. This is Jessica and we just do ballet for the last couple months at my house and she just wanted to learn how to be a little bit more graceful and to get that nice lean long fit ballet body and she's doing an amazing job. She's a beautiful person inside and out so I love when she comes over in the evenings. So it's work time. This is the time of day where I pull up my computer, I do my own work. So I've been working all day on other people's social media and just with phone calls and meetings. So this is the time where I can focus on myself, my own channel, and I love this time of day. So I've already eaten dinner before Jessica came over, so now it's time for a healthy, nutritious snack. So instead of grabbing a bowl of ice cream, what's just as good is a smoothie bowl. So what I do is put a bunch of frozen fruit and just a smidge of milk in a blender, and holy smokes, this is just amazing. So to add a little bit of texture to my bowl, I always like to add some oats and some acai seeds and so this makes it just amazing. Then I like to just relax on the couch, watch a movie and what I've been currently loving is the Sex and the City episodes. Oh my god, obsessed. So a girl's got to pamper herself, so if I was wearing makeup that day, I head on over to my bathroom and I take it off. The products that I've been using for months and months and that work amazingly are the Neutrogena wipes and the Garnier Marcella water. So just taking a wipe, putting a little bit of that water on it and it's just nice and gentle on your eyes. It doesn't sting and it just smoothly wipes off your mascara when it gets nice and stuck on there. Making sure to always be nice and gentle around the eyes because the skin underneath your eyes is very tender and you don't want any wrinkles when you're older. And to cleanse my face, I will forever be obsessed with the African Red Tea Foaming Cleanser from Sephora. To rejuvenate the skin, every night I put on a sheet face mask from the face shop and tonight's is a pomegranate one. For meditation, I always head over to my rock lamp and I just want to set the mood. I want to make my atmosphere nice and calming and relaxing. I sit on my meditation pillow at the foot of my bed with my face mask on to save time and I just meditate for about 20 minutes.
then heading over to my diffuser, popping a couple drops of essential oils, maybe mixing a few together. Lots of them are for reducing anxiety, maybe lavender to help you sleep, and it just is so relaxing. Of course, peeling off my mask. It's been about half an hour, and then I head over, grab my five minute journal, which I do every morning and every night. It's only two and a half minutes in the morning, two and a half minutes at night. Everybody has time for it. It's just nice to reflect on your day and just think of all the things that you're thankful for, maybe what you could have changed about today, and I just love this part of my day. to end off my skincare routine with a little bit of toner and just get rid of all that dirt and grime to even out the skin and then I put a little bit of moisturizer on. The one I've been currently loving for the last couple months is by Lush and it's called Celestial and it just keeps the skin so nourished and hydrated. I don't know if it's a mental thing but this is another product by Lush. It's just completely relaxing, it's a lavender scented and I put a little bit of this cream which is called Sleepy Cream on my chest and up my neck. And then always grabbing at night time my Nivea chapstick just to keep the lips nice and hydrated as well as grabbing an essential oil, just an extra little sniff of this just to relax my mind. Obviously, a lot of mental games before I go to bed as well, spraying some sage yoga mist in the air. This is to completely relax somebody with anxieties, minds before bed, just to totally shut off. And something that's truly helped me throughout the last couple months with my anxiety and falling asleep is sleep hypnosis. I'll leave a couple of my favorite hypnosis linked down in the description bar, but this just ensures that you have the deepest, most peaceful sleep you'll ever have. Okay, beautiful, so that was my night routine. I hope you really enjoyed that and pulled some tips to add into your night routine to ensure that you have the best night's sleep and deepest sleep that you possibly can. So if you did like this video, I'd love if you gave it a like to let me know if you like these kind of videos and if you want me to do maybe a morning routine because that's a pretty long routine as well but yeah if you're not subscribed to my channel already I'd adore you if you subscribed and then you'll be notified each time I post a video and you can follow my journey on YouTube so thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you next time bye